Good morning. Uh, today is Friday and uh, welcome back to my channel. I just wanted to give you an update of what had happened in the garden. Um, Monday and Tuesday we had probably our only freezing temperatures of the year, which the temperatures, the lowest it got was 25, which was on Monday night. And uh, I think it was in the 20s, like for four hours. So um, that's enough to, you know, kill our tender, our tender plants. But I did do an effort of trying to cover up some, trying to save up some. So on, when was it? On Friday night, no, today's Friday. On Wednesday night, I removed all the covers. And today I have a bunch of mess, bunch of mess in my house. Cause on Sunday when I got back, no, on, sorry. When I got back from San Antonio that day, which was Thursday night, there was had been a lot of wind and the wind had knocked down all my screens all the screens on this side and when as soon as i got home i had to tie them all down and then also the the wind had knocked the trampoline towards the fence the fence stopped it and it actually broke part of my rose and one of my little trees which had not been doing so great so that's an opportunity to find a new tree to plant there that's actually going to give me a better canopy grow faster because that one had really been a slow grow i had already moved it in several locations and it's still about the same but that's a new opportunity so i'm going to go through the garden and show you um, what what survived what didn't which was expected i already knew but a lot of those that have damage are going to come back because i already been to the freezes i know that most of the stuff is coming back the only the thing that doesn't come back would be like the citrus if they're young kind of citrus if they're older citrus maybe they'll survive it and uh, my papayas um, the brassicas which is the cabbage the, the cauliflower i covered it they did fine they're good the tomatoes did not do so good but right now when um, i'm going to do um i'm going to another appointment and when i come back i need to clean up put everything away and i'll give you a quick tour all right so thank you i'll see you in a bit okay, i'm back the, the day didn't go as planned. I actually spent most of my day at the clinic with my daughter because she, she's sick, so I didn't have time to do uh, any weeding or putting anything away. But I'm going to give you a quick tour of how the plants um, did. I've already removed all the covers. Excuse me. And um, I didn't get a chance to put away all the covers. So let me turn around the camera and show you uh, the backyard first. So here at the back porch, I did cover this Corona de Cristo. So... Um, it's still green so i'm hopeful and i was researching online and what they recommend is to leave the plants alone um do not prune because i was kind of tempted to prune some things but it says that um to wait till spring because the winter is not over and uh, right now it, that the the dead leaves or whatever died is actually offering some protection to the plant if we do prune them uh, then it'll cause a double stress to them and then they if they're if they are alive that they might actually kill it because our last frost date is not well according to my zip code it's 7850 it's zone 10 um the the last frost date should be at the end of january so we have to be patient i know it doesn't look the best it looks kind of ugly and but we have to wait we have to give mother nature a time for them to heal and uh, most of the time most plants will come back will return from their roots or if you once you cut them back down once you know when spring comes around you know where the the green and the dead is then you, that's when you can prune, prune when it's spring and some of my plants the last time took like even beyond spring it was until the summer that they actually came back and i was so tempted to pull some stuff but I didn't and uh, they came back. This one's a canvas. I'm not really worried about those because those, they come back from the seeds. They reseed themselves, so they'll be fine. My fern, I did cover it. Got some tip damage, but it's still green. The coleus, uh, they do come back here. I've seen them when they come back. And this one, there's still some green. So, well, I guess the dead stuff that's completely dead, I guess I could take off but uh, like at the corners of it, like over here, I could I could just prune that, it's all soggy. Um, okay, the, the ornamental cabbages are so okay. I do still have some petunias and they're fine. 
so far, but we won't see the full extent of the damage. I did cover this succulent and it did okay. Uh, my favorite fern, I make sure I covered it. Seems okay, and this coleus, mm, partial green. I think that this one also came with Mac. The Dusty Millers are very hardy, so I'm going to plant some more of these. They seem like they did absolutely fine, and then the boxwood is fine. This one, the ginger, that one we still can't tell. I'm going to have to wait to see how much damage it got. The roses, love the, the cold, I guess. It did perfectly fine. This tree, all the leaves are damaged, but um, of course, we're going to have to wait. I'm, I'm sure it's still green. And this rose is it okay. My citrus that I have over here, I did cover it with this trash can. Did better than what I thought they would do. Because I did water everything. So it looks okay. Uh, my Vitex got a little bit of damage. Still got some green. And these crepe myrtles, they usually go dormant during the winter. So, so far, so good. Um, going back over here to the spats in the back. These trees, the ones that I had fairly uh, just planted maybe a few months ago, a month ago. It's still green at the bottom because I scratched it. So let's see how that does. And my... Uh, uh, my tree that I got from my grandma's that I had seen some leaves. I don't know. We'll see how it does. It's fairly young, so I'm not sure. Okay, this one is the Vincas. These always come back, so we're good. These are tropical. Probably got some damage. More cannas. This is my hummingbird bush. And so this one from the previous freezes, it came back. So I'm going to wait till the warmer climate, warmer temperatures, and then we'll, we're going to trim them back to see um, how far down I have to, they died. That tropical plant in the back looks like it was protected from the cover and from this, it doesn't look too bad. Hibiscus, they sometimes, sometimes will come back, sometimes they do. We'll see. This one looks like they did fine. Um... This is a citrus which has never given me any fruit, so I'm not sure, but it looks okay. My palm tree looks okay. More cannas. The papaya, I was expecting this. This is too big, I couldn't cover it. Oh, it's getting cold. Um, the citrus, I forgot to cover it, but it looks okay. For now, we'll see as the days go by. My guayaba, I covered it double. I covered it with a bag and a box. It's doing good. Um, these are the figs, which were already had lost all their leaves. Last time they did die back, but they came back. My guayaba, that one doesn't look so great. It, ha it was already weakened by two freezes. I come back, but we'll see. My peach tree, those came back. I covered this grapefruit tree. It looks okay so far. And this is another citrus, which I'm not sure what it is because it came back on its own. I mean, it, it grew out of a, a seed that was there. I didn't plant it. Looks okay. Oh my God, it's cold. Now I'll have a jacket. Um, I think it's just the 50s right now. Okay, this is my papaya. One of them. We're just gonna have to wait and see. The trunks are pretty thick. Might be doing okay. Um, and the brassicas did perfectly fine. This one's I covered them. Um, yeah, they're all good. Another hibiscus. <clears throat> and this Texas sage. <sighs> Shit, looks good. This is a crepe myrtle, more citrus. This is um, jasmine with yellow little flowers. So, so far, all this is good. My tomatoes. Oh, all of this tropicals. Um, they look okay. Oh, well, not this one. This part doesn't look okay, but most of the other leaves look okay. Um, my tomatoes, of course, they didn't do good, but I mean, they're still green. 
we still have very you can see what happened to the tomatoes but this you can always easily plant it by serranos this is my mango but it was so small not sure what what's gonna happen with that one and begonia doing okay this one it's okay Corona de Cristo, that, that cover flew from it, so I don't think it's going to survive, but I'll have to buy another one because I like those. Papaya. Oh, this is a, the, all these containers that are on the ground. This was kind of came back from San Antonio. I usually keep them in the back of the house. So they're blown all over the, the place. See? And this tree is the one that the, uh, that the um, trampoline fell on top. And this is the, also fell in the rose. My papaya. Yeah. Roses are doing okay. Gardenias look okay. These are the, um, what are these called? I'm not sure I'll remember right now. Um, this one got a lot of tip burned. It's a tropical plant as well, so. But it has some green, hopeful. Oh, this one looks good. Oh my goodness. Um, La Esperanza, it'll bounce back. Okay, let's go up here to the front of the house. Come on, kitty. Oh my god. Okay. The Kenneths, of course. And the Vincas. See here the the um the similar, something similar. It's okay. My hibiscus, I covered it but got some damage. These ones are fine. These are winter ones. They did perfectly good. Um, put the neighbor's cat. Okay, so here in front of my house, I did protect my fiddle leaf. Did get some damage. And here my my fern did okay. This one has some damage. Part of the fiddle leaf. It's because uh, the one that the cover from the bottom blew away too. <sighs> my Rosa Sharon. From the previous freeze, it came back. Uh, my daisies are doing good. All these look okay. Here's another rose for Sharon. And the lilies. <clears throat> the evergreens look okay. My, of course, the oak is fine. This is another Esperanza. Okay, so I just go to the other side of the house. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I'm not going to prune anything. I'm going to see what happens. And, uh, the Indian, okay. The other time I said that the name of it was Ethan. It's actually Indian Hawthorne. It's a, a zone seven, 10 to 10. And the last time they did fine. Look at my hibiscus. I mean, not hibiscus, the hyacinths. Sorry. Oh, there's another one. Um, so they, they look okay. This is what is even in bloom. The Indian hawthorn. Oh, these are the daylilies. This one is a tropical, but this one also came back. So I'm going to cut it off. I, like I said, the soggy stuff, I think this one I will trim back. But everything else, like this ones, these are called copper. Copper, this is the one with the brown leaves. The last time they came back, but not all of them. Oh, look at this one's. This one also came back. This is a fox fern. They did okay. Oh, this is my palm, my date palm. I covered this one because the last time I died. Looks good. I hope we don't get another freeze because then I have to recover everything. And then here's one of the daffodils. Two of the daffodils already popping. And there's another one over there. Um, okay, and I was going to give you a tour of my mom's, my sister's house, but I'll go there by tomorrow. Tulips are coming in. Oh my God. Is this what they're supposed to do already? I thought it was, they're supposed to come in in the spring, but they're here. <laughs> so I guess that means I have to water them. Okay, this is my first time growing. There's more tulips more tulips here. You can see. 
showing up. Very excited to see. Hopefully, it does good. And I did put some of mine inside. So overall, not too bad. I'm very glad that I covered that I made some effort because I think if I wouldn't have covered them, they would have suffered more and I probably would have lost them. So keeping my fingers crossed, that's the end. Like I said, guys, be patient. Leave your pants alone. We have to bear with this this um, ugly look for now, this right is, but they're healing, they're getting better. They'll be back, all right? And thank you. Thank you for watching my channel and uh, see you next time. One thing I forgot to mention is that they recommend not to fertilize right now because if you fertilize, you're going to force them to grow before they're ready, before they're ready to heal. So hold off on that until the springtime. Thank you.